Welcome back, everybody. We're working on a BMI calculator in Android. We have all of our user interface elements on the screen, and it's time to program this. So what we're going to do is anything that's going to change in the course of the program, like the input boxes, the button, and the results, we're going to need to make sure we tie into all of these in our main Java program, which is mainactivity.java. Okay, so I'm going to go over here, and um, there are some pre-existing um, methods. One is on create. We have on create options menus, item selected. Now I just eliminated this the last time I uh, the last video I did. I'm going to do the same now. We don't really need it, and all we really need is the first three lines or the first two lines of code in on create, which is super dot on create and set content view r dot layout. So you may wish to do the same. Um, whoa, hold on. Uh, I'm doing it more to clean up than anything else, just to get it clean looking. Um, and then it'll be a little bit easier here. Let me zoom in on this. Be a little bit easier to see what exactly am I doing while I program it. So all the programming happens in your Java files. And in the folder structure, that's in the Java folder. And you can tell by main activity is here that it's in the second com dot hundred visions dot body mass index calculate. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. And what we need to do is we need to get each of those elements we looked at and make sure we add them to what's called the class. Now, the class is like a blueprint for our main activity in this case. Okay, so this is a blueprint. So the class is how we do object-oriented programming. This is what it looks like in Java. C Sharp is very similar looking. So if you ever worked with either of those languages, this will be familiar for you. So main activity is a type of what's called an app compat activity. You don't need to know all the reasons and all that stuff. But what you do need to know, this is the class that represents our main activity, which is really the only activity we have for our program. And in it, what we need to do is declare our UI objects. Okay, so we declare an object is basically we're, we're informing Android or informing the computer that we need to reserve some space for some of these uh, variables. I'm going to start with the text view. Okay, the text view is a, is a type of object. We had text results was one of them. And we're going to program that. And that's really the only text view we want to program. And let's double check to make sure I'm using the right one by going back to content main. And I want to click on results. There it is, text view, text results. Good. Now, this name actually doesn't technically have to be the same name. But it, it's going to keep things simpler if we're not changing names too much. The next thing we have is edit view. Oh, let me go back a step. Before I do anything else, the first thing you're going to see is it doesn't like this. See that? This, this window keeps popping up right there. And it gives you this hint that says Alt-Enter. Before I do that, I want to show you the import statements. <coughs> We have android.view.view.menu.menuItem. Now, text view is red. Watch what I do here. I click on here. I hold down Alt. I type Enter. And all that did was add an import statement. In other words, we need to import this before we can do anything with the text view. You're going to find the same thing for edit text. Edit text. And these will start with edit, and I believe it was feet edit inches, and edit, I think I put pounds, like so. Uh, interesting, I didn't actually have to do alt to enter. It must have automatically put the import statement in because it knew I wanted to do that. Let's verify these names, make sure they are the same in content main. And again, this is more for my convenience than anything else. Edit feet, edit inches. Edit pounds. Good. That's exactly what I did. Okay, so there we have it. Those are our edit texts. We also are going to create our button. And that's button. And here comes the big trick. I can't remember what I called it, so I got to go back here. 
And my button is button calculate VMI. I'm just going to copy that here. And I'm going to just going to paste over that. Calculate BMI. Already the import statement is here. Apparently, just by doing that alt enter in the first one, it did it for the rest. Okay, so this all this does is reserve some space for it in the memory, if you know what that's about. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's basically saying we are declaring these as the variables we are going to use. All right, our next step. Just because we've declared a variable doesn't mean that we are connecting to our content main screen. So in order to connect, we need one more step. And that next step here will look like this. We've already declared, for example, text results, edit feed, edit images. I'm going to do this in the order of appearance. So I'm actually going to move that down and uh, move that up and hit enter there. All right, I I'm going to just do this in the order of appearance because I think it's important to get it this way. I'm going to do edit feet. Now look, I start to type it out. IntelliSense, because I've declared it, knows it's there, I can hit enter. Equals. Now we're going to do, uh, we're going to create or connect our edit feet. In order to do that, we need to, in parentheses, put edit text. And what this is, it's called typecasting. Typecasting. And typecasting means we want this variable to be an edit text. Next, we're going to find view by ID, type F, and you will see find view by ID. It's one of the, it, this is, so what we're going to do is we're going to let Java find our user interface element, our UI element. So find view by ID. So we click find view by ID. We get these parentheses. And then I'm going to put capital R, R, for a resource, I believe, but I could be wrong. Dot. ID. See, we're finding it by ID. I put a dot and look, every ID that has been set in the Android app is now listed out for me. And there it is, edit feed. And then I got to have a semicolon at the end. Okay. So what that does is we take the variable edit feet. And now we've just basically found where that is in our code. And so this is, in essence, connecting the items. And I probably should have commented that so you see that on the video. Like so. All right. Uh, I'm going to move this over. All right, so let's do the same thing for our remaining items. All right, we did it now for our edit text. Let's do it for our button. Does You do the same thing. Now, here's the trick some people forget is they get so used to making everything edit text, they keep doing it that way. This time it has to be a button because that's what it is. It's a button. But we still do the find view by ID, and it's still r dot, oops, r dot id dot, and then you just look for a button, calculate BMI. Now, the really important step here is if you named your button anything else in uh, uh, the other file, the content underscore main, then it will appear as it appears here. This is where it's a really handy thing to use that IntelliSense there. Let it name it, and then you will be assured that it's the right name, even if you gave it a different name than the variable up here. So this does not necessarily have to match this. But this must come from here. Okay, you see how that works? So we set this name here, whatever name we give it, and we connect using this method. This ensures, by using little dot notation and IntelliSense, that we're actually grabbing it from this item. To so do the same thing for our final, which is the results. Now, uh, did you see what happened there? Before I did text results, this is grayed out. It's grayed out until we do this little step here. I just thought I'd point that out. It's kind of an interesting little thing. Uh, use your color code as a way of identifying if you're doing things right or not. A lot of times you can learn a lot just by reading that. No, wrong. <laughs> I didn't want to do the button. I want to do text results. 
Bam. There we go. All right. Now, we've basically attached everything. We declared what we needed. We import. We, it begins with the import statements. We let it automatically do it. We declare our UI objects, and then we connect them onto here. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a what's called a button uh, click listener. Excuse me. It's called a click listener. Our button is going to have it. Now comes the fun part. We're going to go ahead and to get a click listener, it's something that's applied to a button. So you put the name of the button, you put a dot, and it's a set on click listener, like so. New on, uh oh. Ah, I'm going to have to review my notes. Hold on a second, I'll get back. All right, I was almost there. It's actually new view. View dot wait 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 view dot on click listener like so and I think oh I know what I need to do just one more piece here there we go and wait for it wait for it wait for it usually it does something here. Implement methods. Okay, so look what I had to do. That little uh, button came up. I clicked it there, the little light bulb. Click here. You're going to choose implement methods, and it's on click listener. Just click OK, and make sure you check the insert at override, and wait for it. It will pop up in just a moment. There we go. So now we have our click listener. So it is kind of, this is the most awkward stage, I think, of getting this because you got to create new view and then you have to wait for it a little bit before it goes. But this on click is what happens when you click the button. So one of the things we're going to do is um, we're going to try to grab some information. We're actually going to create a couple variables here. We're going to create a variable to represent our results. And for our results, we're going to initialize it and give it a value. We're going to put results like so here. Now, this string called results is just only exists inside of this onClick method. We're going to use it to display our results when we are done. We're also going to create some ints. Okay, when we click the, the, um, the, the button, we're going to see if we can get the text from the edit temp or not edit temp, from the edit feet. We're going to see if we can grab it. So it's int feet, like so, equals. Now notice it's not, it's not edit underscore feet, it's just int feet, equals. We're going to try to use the integer class, integer, capital I, make sure you put a capital I, integer dot, and then we're going to do what's called parse int. And if you look at parse int, You'll see this thing here, it says string s int. String s means it, you, you give it a string, and if it's able to, it will output what's called an integer. Okay, So it's parse int. And then we're going to give it a string. Now this string is going to be the text from our edit tent. So we're going to do edit, sorry, edit feet, excuse me, edit feet dot, and we're going to get text right there. So we're going to grab the text that's in there, and then we're going to add this little piece here, which is two straight, like so. Okay, big, long piece of code, which to parse it out means get the text from edit feet, convert it to a string, and then see if we can convert it into an integer. Now, this may cause a problem, and so we're going to need to deal with it but I'm almost out of time. So before we do that, I'm going to comment this out and I want to just do, well, I guess we'll, okay. So what we'll do is let's just make sure we change our results. Hey, I clicked a button and then what we do, actually we can even do, uh, plus equals, we're going to add two results, and then we're going to set the text, so we're going to do text results dot set 
text. And we're just going to pass it results, like so. So now it will show the string of results. So let's test it out. So when you go to test it, make sure you click on the little green arrow thingy there. And I <laughs> went to, to launch it, and then I crashed it because I, I stopped it right in the middle. So I'm just going to do run, run. Oh, gosh. So let's go ahead and test this out. In order to test it out, you want to click the little green uh, triangle here. And if you don't have a device, I have another video about the um, wind chill calculator. And on that particular one, I cover how to launch the emulator and set it all up. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch it, click OK, and let it start. And I'll, I'll bring the video back when it's up and running. If it feels like you've been waiting a long time, just click on here and swipe. And there it is. All right, so we're going to try to click Get BMI. Hey, I clicked a button. Awesome. Okay, so now we got this button working. And stay tuned for my next video when I cover how to make sure information we are getting from the user matches required information. In other words, feet. Well, no one's going to be 20 feet tall, so we're going to make sure that they can't enter the wrong information. That'll be on my next video. Stay tuned.